it's so delicious. Here we go. Hey guys. Today we're going to a very special new place here in Houston, Texas. It is located in southwest Houston off of Hillcroft in the Mahatma Gandhi district. It is where we have a lot of South Asian uh, restaurants and eateries. It's a very cool district, right? Absolutely. You'll find places from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all kinds of very unique cuisines from that area and each area has their distinct flavors. The place we're going to today is called Student Briyani and it is actually from Karachi, Pakistan. It's a chain now that started in the 60s in Karachi which is in the area known as Sindh. They have a specific style of biryani which is a very very popular rice dish amongst many South Asian people. Student Briyani has some of the best Karachi style or I guess you could call it Sindhi style biryani known around the entire world. So this place, like I said, it's a chain. This is their first location in the United States. Oh, um, exciting. Yeah, and they have locations in Canada, in UAE, Saudi Arabia, and even Australia. Australia. <laughs> yes, so surprisingly they do have locations there. I have heard nothing but good things about it well before I tried it. I've been here before with Sandy and it is outstanding so we had to yeah. come back and make a it's video good. to show you guys. Yeah. yeah. With that said, let's go inside and check it check out. It out. Veggie biryani, medium spicy as well. Spicy. Hmm? It's spicy. Oh, you want a spicy for that one? Can I get one order of chana? One order of garlic naan. And then can I get one mint lemonade, one uh, mango lassi, the masala fries. And then would you recommend beef halim or the nihari? Halim? Okay, let me do one order of the beef halim. Perfect, that's everything. I'm gonna take you through each dish. First, we've got the chicken biryani. We decided to go with the boneless one because some friends of ours had said that is a delicacy here and it's the one to get. And then you've got the beef halim. So this is a very, very special dish with lentils and beef stewed. Very, very flavorful. Next to the beef halim, we've got the chana masala. This is a chickpea curry with a lot of chilies in there and some ginger it looks like. And then here for Sandy, we've got a vegetarian biryani. Looks really, really flavorful as well. We've also got garlic naan to give us some nice bread to soak that curry up with. And then we've got some special masala fries. Over here, we've also got topper. So this is like a little chips you know at a Mexican restaurant chips and dip same thing they also do give you a little salad as well so you get some veggies in your meal and last but surely not least is a special sweet rice dessert called zarda I've actually never had zarda I might have had something similar a lot of times I don't know all the names for these dishes but anyway it looks like gulab jamun on top to wash it all down we've got a mint lemonade and I've got a mango lassi so Let's chow down. So I'm gonna serve some chicken biryani here. This is the boneless. Last time I tried the one with the bone, it was outstanding. This one is probably more of a white meat chicken. It says it's fork friendly, which means you can eat it with a fork. Let's dig in here, okay? So we eat with a fork and spoon here. This is very traditional in Indian Pakistani restaurants. So get a spoonful here of the amazing rice. This is Karachi style biryani, which is Sindhi style biryani, which is the area where Karachi is located. So here we go. Mmm, so much flavor in that one bite. Salty, spicy, mmm, savory. But I gotta get some chicken in that bite. There's some chicken. Oh man, chicken melts in your mouth. It's so well seasoned. They cook it for a long time that you can tell. Outstanding dish. If you want to try one biryani first time, go for the chicken 
homeless biryani. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, I have the vegetable biryani. It looks really nice. has a lot of colors. You can see peas, potato pieces, bell peppers. It looks really interesting. Let's dig in. Here you can see there's a lot of different spices in there. I don't know, maybe this is like coriander? Mmm, oh, it's so flavorful. It tastes like there's so many spices in there. It even has like a little bit of a citrus flavor. I think it might be the coriander in there, but it tastes really good. And it's spicy. It's really spicy. That's how I ordered it. I love it spicy. So, mm. And here you can see they put like big pieces of potatoes in there and they're also seasoned really strong really flavorful it's so delicious now i'm gonna try the beef halim so i have actually never had halim officially i have had similar but not beef but it looks really good it looks more of a lentil curry which i like all right mm. it's got some shallots on top let me see if i can find the beef oh yeah there's little pieces of beef it is cooked into the curry, I believe, so it's, you know, kind of long-term cooked, so outstanding. It warms you up. Mmm. Thumbs up from me. This is, this is comfort food at its best, so. So here I have the chana masala. Looks also really good. You see there is some ginger on top, then chili pieces on top. And then here you have a little lemon that you're just gonna squeeze on top. I will just try it first with a spoon. Usually I like to eat it with um, naan bread, but let's try it first with a spoon. Mix it a little bit so that I can get some chili as well and some ginger. Mm. Mm, it's really good. So this is definitely more flavorful than other channels that I had in the past. Like the, the flavors are really like strong. And it's really nice and spicy. So for those who don't know what chana means, chana means chickpea in Urdu. But this is really good. So what I usually like to do is grab a piece of naan bread and then I what just... What kind of naan is that? This is a garlic naan. You can see like the little garlic pieces on top and then they also put some herbs on it. So what I like to do is I just put this on top like that. It's like a pizza. It's like a pizza, yes. And then I just bite into it. Mm. You smile all over my face. We also ordered masala fries. Here you can see they put some masala seasoning on top. You can taste the spicy meat. So what I also like to do is like I grab one of these and then I just put it in here, mix it a little bit and then So good. Potato and chickpea. It's a lot of carbs, but tastes amazing. So for those of you who have never had biryani, biryani can be really spicy sometimes, but there's a little trick to it. You can steal Sean's mango lassi, hey. which is really good to calm down like your burning mouth. Or you can take this. They usually bring it on the side. It's like a yogurt kind of thing. It helps when your mouth is really like burning. It calms it down and it tastes really good. If your mouth is on fire from the biryani, don't worry, you can take the yogurt thing on the side. I also got the mint lemonade, which is also a great option to calm down your burning mouth. Okay, so we have the final dish for today and I'm the one that gets to try it first. Zarda. So this is a special flavored rice. It's sweet. It has different spices and it looks like what is gulab jamun top here, which is like a sweet, syrupy, like almost like a pancake ball and that's what I would say. A lot of people told me to try this dish here, so had to do it. Now I'm gonna just dig in here. First I want to try this rice actually. Sweet rice. And what about this stuff here? What is this? Mmm. That's the sweet milky flavoring that adds it to the rice. Oh man. Very rich. This reminds me of a dessert from South India. It's called kesari. Also orange, but it's a bit more of a mashed rice. And they added a little more coconut I'd say, but very good. Very good way to finish the meal. A very heavy meal, but very good meal, so. Thumbs up from me. Very, very delicious item as well. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we just finished here at Student Biryani. Mm -hmm. How did you like it? 
I enjoyed it a lot. Really happy they're in Houston, you know, as our first US location. I gotta say, I'm surprised that the quality is so good and it's all, uh, the consistency. We've been here now two times and the consistency is solid. The pricing is pretty reasonable and it's clean, you know, it's, it's important for a lot of restaurants, you know, that especially chains, you know, they, they're not the same standard a lot of times and this one though, they yes, are, I can tell. Clean, yeah. They did it top notch and the service is great. You know, the, yeah, the, the food came out really fast. Yep. You didn't have to wait for No so big long. wait, yeah. nope. And then to-go boxes are there if you if you don't finish your food. So, you know, order and try a little bit of everything. My priyani was really good. Like, it was really spicy. That's how mm -hmm. I like it. It was nice. Yeah, I agree. Mine was too. I did the medium. And I saw a lot of people ordering medium. So, so spice here is a real thing. So if you, you know, typically order lower spice, definitely go on the lower end. If you really want to try hot, hot, spicy food, go all the way and, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, for, for those of you with a student biryani in your country, I highly encourage you to so, Google them, yeah. find out where it is, go visit in Australia, go visit in Saudi Arabia, UAE, Canada and probably in Europe very soon I would think. Yeah and what I also really liked about the location they had all this cool graphics on the wall. Yes about that was nice the, it shows the history. history. Of the student yep and it started as a small stall yeah, for right? students mm -hmm. and, and it was students and teachers and I guess they it was called Cafe Students, if I'm not mistaken, and then it just got so popular they called it Student Briani. So it's a cool story. Yeah, it's a cool history. Yeah, and it's been around since 19, I think 1969, is what it was. I think so. That's yeah. what it said on the wall. Today. That's pretty interesting, and then to have that still, you know, being a relevant yeah. brand today is even better. And we have it in Houston, Texas. So. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below and drop a comment as well and let us know if you like biryani, what are the different styles you've tried and which one is your favorite. And if you have been to Student Biryani and you saw some of the stuff we ordered or we might have missed something you would recommend we order, let us know down below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.